Hey everyone, welcome for another fun pick a card and today we're going to ask Spirit who is going to send you a message. We have three options here. This is group number one and that is Howlite Crystal Bracelet. Group number two, we have the Golden Calcite Bracelet. And finally, we have the Tourmalinated Quartz for group number three. So those are the three options. Choose which one you're drawn to. And by the way, we are going to pull up some initials and numbers at the end of each reading. So watch out for it. In the meantime, you may pause if you needed some time. Hi, group number one. You chose the Howlite Bracelet. So let's see. Let's ask Eric who's going to send you a message. By the way, this is a timeless reading. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective which shows group number one. Okay, got your justice. Next you have here, judgment. You have Hierophant. Oh my gosh, you got Eight of Rods. Definitely this person is going to send you a communication or a message. You have Page of Pentacles. And you have here Queen of Rods. At the bottom of the deck, you got here Three of Pentacles. Interesting. Let me just fix your cards. So I'm definitely seeing here a lot of Earth energies, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, especially Taurus. I'm also seeing here Libra, if it's actually air, and Scorpio, if it's actually water. So who is going to send you a message? What I'm seeing here, guys, this person is a romantic partner, maybe from the past. Maybe you actually had a fallout with this person because that's what they're showing me. I'm also getting for some of you, not all of you, so only take what resonates but i'm actually getting that this person was um also married okay i feel that um this person actually realized that it is you that they really want and i'm also getting here that they're probably fixing the divorce that's also what i'm hearing and they are actually going to come towards you and let you know that they wanted to be with you so that's for those who are actually resonating with there is a third party or that this person is already married. But I'm actually getting here that they're actually working on the divorce or some legal separation is what they're fixing. And by the time they were able to sort that out, I'm actually hearing from Spirit that they are going to message you or send you a message, a communication. Because this is also talking about communication. For those of you who are not resonating with, yes, that person is already married. I'm just getting here that the both of you had a past, okay? And I feel that this person probably never offered you um, the commitment that you deserve. Maybe this person's moving a bit too slow when it comes to, you know, to commitment or relationships. I also feel for some of them, they're married to the work, okay? They're married to their work. They're actually very hardworking individuals. They put their focus a lot more on their money, on their, um, yeah, job. And I feel at that time, they weren't ready really to be in a relationship. That's also what I'm getting. But I'm also hearing that this person has a lot of guilt. And they're very sorry. They know that they actually did try to make you wait. That's what I'm hearing. And I'm also hearing that this person is very much sorry about acting the way that they did in the past. That maybe they didn't really prioritize you. So I feel that this person is going to send you a message to also make an apology or offer you an apology. And for a lot of you, this person wanted to renew things with you with this judgment, okay? They wanted to reconnect. They wanted to um, have a fresh new start. And they wanted to do things right with you this time. Wow. For some of you, I feel that this person might be in the same workplace as yours. All right? So just take what resonates. But definitely, this person wanted to offer you a commitment. Nice. So let's see, what else are we going to pull up? Who 
who is going to send group one a message. See, I told you, this person wanted to renew things with you with this regeneration card. As you can see here, all right, there's a dead tree, but you can still see some leaves growing. So this is definitely, you know, um, a message that this person still wanted to grow things with you, that they're still hoping your connection and they're hoping that you're going to give them a chance. Okay. All right. Let's get another one. You have here again. Wow. You got mending. So yeah. Yeah. Definitely this person wanted to heal the connection with you. They know they did hurt you. All right. But they realize that when you guys got separated, they realize a lot that they don't want to lose you again. That's what I'm hearing. And I'm also picking up with this card, like what I said, you guys might be different in some ways because I'm drawn to this two kids. Like... One kid has um, reddish brown hair and the other one has black hair. So I'm getting that maybe you and this person are from different race or culture. This may also mean that this person have kids. Maybe that's why they couldn't come towards you. Especially for those who will resonate with they're already married with kids. I feel that the only reason why they're actually in that marriage was because of the kids. But the truth is they are not really happy. But I'm actually hearing earlier at the very beginning of your reading that this person needs to sort out the divorce papers or some legal um, papers or some, yeah, court issues. That's also what I'm getting before they can come towards you. But once that was settled, I feel that they're going to renew the connection with you. But yeah, for a lot of you, just like what I said, they wanted to give this relationship a brand new start. And they wanted to heal things with you. They wanted to heal the connection again. They don't want to give up on it. Wow. All right, let's see. You have your positive movement forward. And you have your universe. Okay. So like what I told you, this person, you know, wanted to stay optimistic in your relationship. They really wanted to move things with you. Maybe just like what I said, there were a lot of stagnancy in your connection or this person is forever taking a long time to make a decision about what do they really want to happen between you and this person. But what I'm actually seeing here, by the time they actually reach out to you or communicate with you or send you this message, they wanted to move things. Yeah, because they're showing me that a cycle actually ended between you and this person, but they still are looking forward to starting again. They have a lot of hope with this son. Wow. All right. Interesting. Let's see. What else? Let's try this deck. We have truth. Wow. And look at that. We have the scales of justice again. So there's something about legal matters. That's really what I'm picking up. Either this person is also a Libra. We have Libra at the beginning of the reading. Or this person was also married or is married and is starting to work on their divorce. That's also what I'm picking up. For some of you, maybe this person is a lawyer as well. It can be. Or working in the legal department. All right. You got your journey. So what did I tell you? I feel that for some of you, this person might be from overseas as well. Or from a different race. Because I was drawn to the healing card or the mending card. It shows, you know, two kids from different races. So I'm actually getting here that you and this person are actually at a distance from each other. You guys are apart. And I feel that they wanted to actually move things in your connection with this journey. They wanted to actually let you know that they are ready to take this journey with you. They want you to be part of their journey. They wanted you to tell the truth. 
okay they wanted to be much more um up front this time maybe because in the past it's so hard for them to make a decision or they don't know what they want for some of them they probably hid something from you they weren't very truthful but now they wanted to offer you the truth they wanted to provide clarity in your situation yeah maybe they were wearing a mask that's actually what i'm getting to I'm also picking up that this person who is going to send you some message, I feel that this person has a lot of emotional issues too. But again, they wanted to do things differently this time with this journey card. They wanted to do things right with you. And again, they want you to be part of their journey. Maybe for some of you, this person wanted to travel towards you as soon as everything is okay, all right? Maybe they wanted to tell you that, hey, I wanted to see you. I wanted to take this journey, travel towards you. If it's not literally a travel, just like what I said, they wanted you to be part of their journey. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Let's try another duck. Who is going to send group one a message? All right, you got here the crane bag. Let's get another one. All right, you have dreams. Okay. So, definitely this person wanted to fix things. All right, they really wanted to fix whatever it is that was still unresolved in your connection. They wanted to actually um, heal, okay? Because this is also talking about healing for me. So they really wanted to heal the connection with you again. And there was some sort of like a choice, okay, with this card. So maybe for those who are resonating with, there was a third party, okay? Or there is rather a third party for them. It was so hard for them to make a choice because they are... Um, confused because they love um this person's kids are very much important to them and i feel that the only reason why they're still in that connection was because of the kids we saw that on the mending card probably they have two kids too but again whatever the situation is whether there's third party or not they wanted to fix things they wanted to release any baggages that they are still holding from the past I also feel that this person with the dreams, they've been dreaming about you too. I feel the both of you are, not just this person, okay? I feel the both of you are actually connecting as well through dreams. And I'm also, you know, picking up that their higher self is reaching out to you. You might also be dealing with a Pisces for some of you. I'm actually getting that this person is very idealistic. All right, let's see what else. Let's try this deck. Who is going to send group one a message? All right. You have shaman healing. What did I tell you? Again, you have a lot of healing cards. So maybe for some of you... Maybe this person is also a doctor, all right? Because I notice there's a lot of healing energy, whether they are healers, they're energy healers, or um, this person has that natural healing ability to, or they're doctors, or somebody is a doctor or a healer, or it just means that they really wanted to heal the connection again because they know they did hurt you, or there was a lot of hurt. You got cornucopia. Okay, let's take a look. Wow, emotions are running high. Okay. There's a lot of emotions in this connection, group number one. Deep feelings, deep emotions. And I felt for some of you, this person was overwhelmed. This person was not used to that.
All right, and you got your honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So yeah, this person definitely loves to travel. Or they will actually come from a different place or a faraway place from you. And like what I told you, this person is very successful. They're very abundant. But I'm actually hearing at the beginning of the reading that despite of the success as well that they have, they're feeling very lonely and empty because it's you who bring them a lot of happiness. And they're seeing it clearly now. So again, this person wanted to heal the connection with you. They're hoping that you'll give them another chance. And by the time they're going to reach out to you or send you a message, they know now what they want. Because maybe in the past, just like what I said, they don't know what they want. They're very indecisive. They're not sure whether they're still going to proceed with this connection. There's a lot of doubts as well that maybe it's not going to work. There's a lot of fears. Okay, I'm hearing fear very strongly. So I'm actually picking up that this person, you know, is a bit pessimistic at times. That's also what I'm getting. But yeah, for some of you, either this person is a doctor or they're healers as well. Take what resonates. Or like what I said, they just wanted to heal the connection with you. And there's something about the month of November. That's also what I'm hearing very strongly right now. So there's something about the month of November for you, group number one. Wow. Okay, let's see. Let's try to pull up more. Let's get four cards from this deck. Who is going to send group one a message? All right, you got your networker. You got scribe. You have Shapeshifter. Let's get another one. Oops, just one more. And you have Child Divine. Okay. All right, so definitely this person with the networker, I feel that this person has a lot of contacts. He or she is really good connecting with different types of people. I feel that this person um, has the knack for, again, blending with different types of people. They're actually very easygoing, very friendly. I'm actually seeing here with a shapeshifter that they can easily adapt to any type of environment or situation, just like a chameleon. This person might be a writer as well. You got the scribe or they might actually start writing you a message first, either send you a message on email or text message before they would call you up. But definitely this can also mean that this person has a lot of knowledge. They love to do some research as well. They're very informative. And with this child divine, I'm actually, you know, getting here that this person can also be very spiritual for some of you. All right. For some, I'm hearing that this person is quite naive. But they really do have that connection with the divine. So regardless of what religion, but I feel that this person is either religious or spiritual. Okay. Because like what I always say, religion and spirituality are different. But yeah, I feel that this person can easily blend um, in any type of environment. They can easily make friends or they have a lot of connections. They're social butterflies. That's also what I'm picking up. All right. Maybe they're also very popular in social media. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's get four more cards. Ooh, right. Let's take a look at that. You got your Gemini. Wow. I won't be surprised because Gemini, you know, they're very witty. They're very intellectual. Gemini are awesome conversationalists. Okay. You got Libra as well. So two air energies. Interesting. Another sign. You got Aquarius. I can't believe this. You got all air signs here. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. 
Oh my god. Wow. Let's get one more. And he got Sagittarius. Yeah. Okay. So group number one. All air signs are actually here. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Somewhere in their chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And we also have Sagittarius. If it's fire. Alright. So this person is definitely very quick-witted. They're awesome conversationalists. Just like a typical Gemini. I'm also picking up that this person can also be very indecisive. Um, it's kind of like really hard for them to... To make a decision um, one day this is what they want and then for some reason they can easily change their mind afterwards or they're fickle minded but they're actually very you know smart or very witty very informative indeed with the Libra energy, this person is very much balanced. No wonder this person is actually a sociable person because we got that with a networking card because Librans are actually very friendly people and they can actually easily connect with different types of individuals. They're very fair. They don't take sides. They want it to be in the middle all the time. They're great mediators. I also feel that this person might also be, you know, very good looking. I'm also picking up with this Aquarius again very smart person very unique I'm getting as well that this person doesn't want to conform to the society this person is a pioneer you know they're very original but they're also very freedom loving so I'm actually picking up for some of you that's also the reason why they couldn't offer you a relationship or a commitment because they're very much freedom loving just like the Sagittarius I can't believe this you got Aquarius and Sagittarius these two signs all right are freedom lovers they love freedom they don't want to be controlled okay that's suffocation for them if you try to control them about what they should be doing ask a sag to be here 12 on the dot they'll actually you know arrive 1205 because again they control their thoughts their mind i mean they don't want to be controlled by other people they have their own mind so very freedom loving individual I feel that these type of individuals um, they're not really the type who's going to offer a relationship or to be in a very um, serious commitment because they don't want to be tied down as well but this person has a lot of wisdom very bright person okay intellectual and again this person might be also very frank when they talk they can be tactless for some of them and um, this person is very philosophical. They're always um, straightforward, on point, okay, with a Sag. When they want something, they charge towards that. They won't take no for an answer. And again, this person loves to travel, all right? These two signs, they love to travel. So I am not surprised why there's a lot of travel cards as well. All right, interesting. Now let's actually pull up one more card and then we'll pull up some charms, initials, and numbers for you. All right, you got here, communicate clearly, exactly. My gosh, we even have Gemini because like what I said, Gemini people are actually great conversationalists. They, they make the best, you know, they're, they're, they are great salespeople, in other words, because of their speech, how they talk. So for some reason, though, you got to communicate clearly. So I'm getting here that there's a lot of confusion in your connection. I feel that this person was not able to communicate what is it that they truly want to happen with you. They weren't very clear with their intentions or this connection lacked open, honest, straightforward communication. But I feel once, you know, they're ready because this is the person who's going to send you a message. I feel that this time they're going to communicate clearly about what is it that they want to happen between the both of you. Wow. Okay. All right. So now let's proceed with the charms, the initials. Let's. Our newest edition, the numbers.
All right. So as usual, we are going to start off with the alphabets or the letters. Let me just separate the charms. Okay, you actually have the letter G. You have the letter W. You have the letter U. Letter Z. Letter L. Another G. Letter P. Letter Y. Okay, I don't want to miss the alphabets that we have here. All right, you have the letter R. You have the letter V. You have the letter S. Letter P. Letter M. Letter Y. Letter B. R and another R. Okay, so take a look at those alphabets or letters. That might, you know, spell out their entire name, if not just the nickname, maybe, or the first, middle, last initial of this person. And as for the charms, he got a lot of flowers. Okay. Yeah. You also have Fleur de Lis. So maybe this person is from France or somebody's from France. Definitely they wanted to actually fix the connection with you. Some of them, they're probably engineers or they are very much particular with time. Again, they wanted to grow things with you. They wanted to transform with this butterfly. You also got here the tree. So this is for me, wisdom, knowledge. Okay, they're very knowledgeable. They have a lot of experience. They have a lot of skills. You got your angel wing. Wow. Okay, so maybe that's for some of you. Maybe there is a tattoo or somebody has that tattoo, that angel wing, or this is also divinely guided. And you got your crucifix, just like what I told you, right? Remember, I told you earlier that spirituality and religion is different, but I'm actually getting either this person is very spiritual or very religious. Okay, either this person with this crucifix is somebody who is very much connected with the divine or a very religious person. Okay, interesting. Now let's actually pull up some numbers for you. So just the same, it works just like the initials. These numbers are going to be very significant for you and your person, not just your person, but also you. So it's kind of like a validation, basically. All right, there you go. Let's take a look at your numbers. You got the zero, you have one, you have three. Let me actually fix it, there you go. You have the number five, you have the number eight, another zero, you have the number four, number nine, number five again, and we have the number six, okay? So yeah, those are your numbers. These are the initials and these are the charms. So when it comes to the numbers, you can actually just, yeah, mix the numbers. For instance, maybe this person's age is 34, right? It can also be that their birthday or, yeah, maybe their birthday is, let's say, June 13. It can be that, you know? Or there's something about 1995 or 1996. It can also be that. So it's up to you. Just try to take a look at the combination of the numbers over here. This will be significant for you as well as your person. It can be the first um, time that you guys met or the last time you guys talk. Maybe on the 14th of that month. You know, things like that. So, yeah. That's what I actually have for you. Group number one, I hope you actually enjoy this reading. And I send you all the love and the light. Ta-ta. All right. It's time for your reading. And we'll ask Spirit who wants to send you a message or who is going to send you a message. This is a timeless reading, by the way. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective which shows group number two.
All right, you got here six of rods. You have knight of rods. All right, you have nine of swords, the empress. You have seven of cups, okay. And you got here, queen of swords. All right, at the bottom of the deck, you got here five of cups. I'm definitely hearing Miss Opportunity here for group number two, okay? So this person, okay, there's a lot of fire energies. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, especially Sag. I'm also seeing Swords energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, especially Libra. Especially um, Taurus, by the way, if it's actually Earth. And we have Water Signs too. So that will be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Okay. So, who is this person is going to send you a message? I'm definitely seeing here that there was a missed opportunity. That's actually what I heard very strongly. I feel that you and this person had a situation in the past. You guys were in love with each other. Or maybe this person was in and out of your life with the Knight of Rods over here. Because again, the Knight of Rods is somebody who is actually not wanting to be in a serious commitment. They enjoy their time with you, but they really don't want to be just fully committed with you maybe that's the reason why they can't be with you all the time they have to be in and out of your life or this person is actually a bit confused as well about what is it that they really want it can also be that this person has a lot of charm i feel that this person is very attractive that's really what i'm getting here whether they're male or female this person who wanted to send you a message or who will be sending you a message is somebody who's very popular with people okay i feel that they're surrounded by a lot of people or with a lot of yeah admirers is what i'm actually hearing so i'm actually getting that this person is very attractive I'm also hearing that this person has a lot of pride, though. Like, even though they know they made a mistake, they don't want to admit that, okay? That's their shadow side. But I'm getting here that this person is very generous. They also love to help people. They want it to be of service. They're very generous as well. They're very confident, too. But again, I feel that this person loves the attention of different people. I feel that they love the, yeah, praise, the admiration that people around them were giving this person. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. And I feel that they know that they are aware that they did hurt you, okay, because you got here to Five of Cups. There's a lot of regret. And when you actually probably walked away from the connection or you stopped communicating with this person, you stopped going after this person, that's when they realize, oh my God, this person is the empress. If you're a guy, just, you know, switch it. But they realize that it was a missed opportunity. So they have a lot of regrets. They've been heavily thinking about you. They've been thinking about what is it that I can actually do for this person to welcome me back. Maybe this person is going to cut me off just like the Queen of Swords. They're very fearful that maybe you're not going to welcome them back again in your life. And so this person is going to send you a message. Um, I feel it would, you know, take a lot of courage before they can actually do that. But they will. All right. They will. I feel that they're going to surrender. This person is actually, you know, very persistent and very determined. For those of you who are not resonating with, they're not necessarily a person who wanted the attention of many people. I feel that their main focus was their career. They have a lot of dreams. They wanted to put their focus on their career, their studies, or other areas of their life. And they did not prioritize the connection with you. And they know that you are very much upset that they did hurt you. They're aware of that. 
for some of them just like what I already said this person has a lot of pride too But definitely this person is successful when it comes to their money, when it comes to their business maybe, because I'm also getting a business owner. But then again, they realize that even though there's a lot of cups, okay, with the seven of cups, you are different from the rest. That's what I'm hearing. Wow. This is gorgeous. Okay, let's see what else. Who is going to send group two a message? Okay, you got here, Treasure Island. Let's get another one. You have co-create. For some of you, I'm actually picking up that this person might be, you know, not for all of you, so only take what resonates, but for some of you, this might be a person you've worked with in the past, or you guys were actually co-workers or business partners, because I also heard business earlier. And I also feel that they move a bit too slow when it comes to commitments or relationships. And for some of you, you guys got really sick and tired, like, oh my gosh, it's taking forever for this person to elevate the connection to the next level. I'm done. So I'm picking up that it was, again, a missed opportunity for them. Because by the time you walked out of the door, that's when they realized, like, oh, my gosh, this person is a very important, special person to me with this treasure island. Okay, they treasure you. Maybe they weren't able to show a lot of effort. Or they weren't able to express to you how much they actually really appreciate you. Or that you are of value to them. Because like what I told you, even if, let's say, you're resonating with, yes, there's a lot of people who is showering them with a lot of attention. And they're successful with their money. But like what we always hear, right? Money can't buy happiness. So I feel that, again, you are this priceless treasure to this person. And I'm getting you guys might be also different because they're showing me here cheetah and owl. So maybe you guys are different in many ways. But again, they wanted to have a new beginning with this egg. They wanted to have a new beginning with you. They wanted to cooperate with you this time. This person um, who's going to send you a message is very patient as well. And like what I told you, they're very um, persistent, they're very determined. They're also very creative. Maybe they're also in the arts or multimedia. Highly creative person. All right, let's see, what else? Let's try this deck as usual. Who's going to send group two a message? All right, you got authority here. For some of you, this might be, you know, a boss. If it's actually, you know, a co-worker. If not, then this person is of, you know, position. Maybe they are supervisors or they're great leaders as well. Not necessarily your boss. And then he got your conflict and defeat. Wow, this person has a lot of pride. That's really what I'm getting here. And I've mentioned that at the beginning of your reading, that this person, you know, when they know that they made a mistake, it's hard for them to swallow their pride. But they will. Don't worry, group number two, because the reading is all about who's going to send you a message. And this person will give in. I feel they try to hold themselves back. You know, they're very stubborn. That's what I'm picking up. They're very stubborn. They're very fixed. And they also don't want to be, you know, um, controlled by others. That's also what I'm getting from this person. They always wanted to be in control. They wanted to be calling the shots. They don't like it when people try to control them. And I feel because of this control of them controlling um, their feelings for you or what they really do, do want happened. Um, I'm getting here that they felt very much conflicted, okay? 
they felt defeated because you are this candle you are this hope you bring this person a lot of happiness you bring this person a lot of light and i feel that this person is in a very dark period of their life as well you might be also dealing with an aries all right let's see what else who is going to send group two a message All right, we have here growth and we have here food. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing here that this person needed to grow, okay, in order to be with you. Maybe at the time that you guys were actually together, maybe this person is still in the night, right? You got the Knight of Rods, so they're not the Emperor yet. Well, earlier, you just got the authority. This is the Emperor card. So, that could also mean that this person, by the time they're going to contact you or send you a message or reach out to you, you would see some changes, alright? Because I'm actually picking up that they've grown a lot from this situation. Whatever it is that happened between the both of you, this actually pushed them to grow. This actually pushed them to learn learn a lot from the situation I also feel that this person um, like what I said they're very stubborn sometimes it's so hard for them to step out of their comfort zone but again th these growing pains all right because it says here growing pains can help you and gaining wisdom and experience exactly so no matter how hard it is for them this actually, again, pushed them to grow from this situation, to grow from this connection. It gave them a lot of, you know, insights. That's actually what I'm getting. And I also feel with this growth, they needed to release something first before they can come towards you, whether that's old baggages or shed some skin before they can give this connection a brand new start. This person might also love food a lot, all right, with this food card. Or this can also mean that this person has a lot of knowledge, all right, has a lot of wisdom with this apple. And again, this person is very abundant, especially when it comes to their money. But then again, like what I said, money can't buy happiness. So that's something that you actually made this person feel. That even though you have a lot of admirers out there, even though that you have a lot of money, you have a lot of people, you know, showering you attention, you have recognition, but this person is feeling very sad and empty. Okay. Well, what else? Who is going to send group to a message? Ooh, let's take a look at that. All right, you got telepathy. So maybe this is a twin flame. Maybe this person is a runner. Ooh, a lot of cards. Hold on. You guys have been marrying a lot. That's also what I'm getting here. And you got your endurance. Okay. Like what I said, this person is very persistent. This person is very determined with this endurance. And with this telepathy, look at that twin. So maybe this is a twin flame. And this person is more of like the runner in the connection and you are the chaser. I feel that you and this person are actually very much connecting. It's like you can feel or sense this person's emotions, even though you guys are separate from each other. Maybe this person is also trying to send you some messages through dreams because you got here telepathy. Or it's kind of like you could sense what this person is going through. Or you can feel their energy as well. You vibe a lot. That's really what I'm getting. You guys really have a lot of things in common too. So that's why I said you guys might be marrying a lot. Yeah, with this endurance, 
they wanted to just keep on going. They really wanted to proceed with the connection and try to give this connection a brand new start. They don't want to give up, okay? They really don't want to give up on you. So I feel that's why they're going to send you a message that even though it's kind of like hard for them to accept their mistake or their defeat, they would still try to swallow their pride and really try to reach out to you. Oh, wow. Okay, what else? Let's try this deck. Just fix it. Okay. All right. You have three cards from this deck. You have Wolf and Sink. You have Unfoldment. All right. And you got your Wind Activation. You have Woman Holding a Heart. You have here, it's time to release negativity. Remember I told you guys, this person needs to release something first, okay? Some baggages. They need to leave something behind before they can grow something new with you. And you got here, let your friends help you. At the bottom of the deck, give your relationship a chance. So again, what did I tell you? This person wanted to offer you another start in the connection. They're just scared that maybe you're going to just cut them off like the Queen of Swords. But it's up to you, group number two. What I'm actually seeing here, by the way, when it comes to signs, definitely there's air, okay? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and also Scorpio. I'm getting that this person is highly intuitive. They usually follow their gut instinct. And I also feel with this wolf, I'm going to read it intuitively. Like this person, you know, is feeling very lonely. Like he or she is a lone wolf. And I feel that there were a lot of things that this person experienced which made them strong. That's why they're more grown up now. That's also what I'm getting. And again, with the unfoldment, I feel that this person really wanted to be clear with you. They wanted to release everything. They wanted to be open with you. Maybe in the past, they're a bit close off with their heart. Or they're close off with the idea of having a relationship. Not just with you. But I feel that this person is somebody who doesn't want to commit right away. I feel that this person doesn't want to be tied down. And again, Spirit is saying, do not take it personally. Because I feel that that's the kind of person that they are. It takes time before this person decides to settle down. So I'm getting here that they are aware that you were hurt because you showered them everything. The love, the attention. Although they are missing that. The love that you actually gave them. And they know that they really needed to release something first before they can grow things with you. I'm also getting here with your letter of friends help you. Either they're seeking the help of their friends. Some advice here. Yeah, from their friends. Or I'm also picking up that you guys are friends. You guys are not yet in a relationship. And you guys were really, you know, hurt. Like, this person is confusing me. I could sense that we guys, we, we are actually not just friends, you know. We have this deep emotions for each other. But this person is shutting that off. So I feel that, like what I told you, this person really wanted to open up this time and they will by the time they communicate or reach out to you maybe it's been a while that you guys were friends and they wanted you know something different this time with you maybe they're ready now to actually um be in a much more serious and committed relationship with you not just friends and again, some of them are probably asking the help of friends, some advices from other people around them. Okay, interesting. 
All right, let's put that aside. We'll get four cards from this deck. All right, let's take a look at that. You have here Femme Fatale. Oh, wow. Ooh, la, la. Okay. <laughs> Sexy. This person is very seductive. So whether they're male or female. Very erotic energy as well. So maybe for some of you, you guys started out by flirting. Or there's a lot of sex in this connection too. You got bully. You have here trickster. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. And then you got here exorcist. Wow, interesting how everything is correlating here, group number two. So I'm definitely seeing here, just like what I said, this person is very seductive. There's a lot of sensual energy, erotic energy. Just like what I said, maybe at the very beginning of your connection, not for all of you, but you guys actually started out flirting with each other. There's a lot of sexual energy between you and this person. But when it comes to forming a a much more emotional, deep relationship, that's when this person started running away. Or it's like you can't rely on this person when it comes to having a deep type of relationship. And I'm also getting because they're so attractive, there's a lot of people who wanted to grab their attention. They're very seductive. They probably have tattoos as well on their back. They're very mysterious too. And because of their mystery, it really attracts the attention of a lot of people, male or female. With this bully, I feel that this person, either they were also bullied when they were kids, it can be. Or with this bully, I feel that um, this person tend to say some harsh words. That's also what I'm getting. Or they're very intimidating too. That's also what I'm getting. With a trickster, they're very unpredictable. It's like you don't know what's going to come out of that hat. Whether it's a rabbit or whatever it is that's going to come out of that hat. So they're very, again, mysterious. It's hard to figure them out. Very unpredictable. They also probably love to, you know, play some pranks or they're jokesters as well. But with the exorcist, I feel that whatever, you know... Um, yeah, is holding them back from the past or whatever negative energies that they have, they are ready to free that. Just like what I said, release negativity, right? You got that card. And it's kind of like with this exorcist, like freeing um, something that is heavy on their back. Any baggages? Maybe for some of you, this person was also addicted to some substances. That's actually what I'm hearing. Either drugs, alcohol, or a lot of, you know, sex. I don't know. I'm really, you know, hearing those things. So they need to actually let that go to come clean. That's what I'm hearing before they can come towards you. Maybe in the past, they're kind of like afraid to face their own demons. But then you triggered something to this person to heal that. And they learned a lot. That's why you got the growth card. Wow. Okay. So let's see. What else? Let's get four cards again. Again, you got Gemini. So maybe somebody's a Gemini. All right. You got Venus. Libra again. You have second house. Oops, we just need one more card. All right, you got Mars. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing here Gemini, Libra, and Aries or Scorpio, okay? So again, this person is somebody who's very intellectual. A great conversationalist. They're very witty. This person is very resourceful. When they talk, they can really, you know, um, amaze or wow the people around them. 
This person is very attractive. My God. That's what I told you at the very beginning of the reading. This person is very attractive. They're good looking. Whether they're male or female, they're very good, look good looking. And um, they also love the attention. That's really what I'm picking up. This person loves the attention. They wanted to be showered with a lot of attention. It's actually good for their ego. I'm also picking up that this person, you know, can be a bit indecisive. And they also love to be around beautiful stuff. So that's what I'm hearing too. They love to enjoy. They, they also love to have a good time. And um, again, money is very important to this person as well. So for some of you, not necessarily that they're a player, that they're actually, you know, putting their attention in other options. But I feel that, again, some of them actually try to put their focus on their money, their career or studies for some of you. That's why they realize that money can buy, you know, happiness. Because they realize that you are their happiness. You give them something that money can't give. Or other people around them can't give. Okay. With this Mars. Alright. This person is very determined. You got the endurance card. So again. Very fiery energy as well. They're action oriented. They're very passionate. They're very driven. They're very ambitious. This person can also be jealous. That's also what I'm hearing. They're assertive and also very sensual. All right. I'm, I'm really picking up a lot of sensual energies again based on these cards. All right. So let's pull up one more and then we are going to pull up some charms and initials. Plus our newest edition numbers. But before that, let me actually grab this deck. All right. Let's see here. Oh, that was fast. You got your compromise. Okay. So, yeah. Maybe in the past, you guys, you know, are both very strong people, strong individuals, strong personalities. The both of you are marrying. Remember that. Because I'm actually picking up this might be a twin flame as well. So, I feel that none of you wanted to actually, you know, give in. But... The lesson here is for the both of you to compromise. Or maybe this person is willing to compromise. Again, you got the scales of justice, balance. They wanted to balance things with you. Maybe this person has Libra in their chart, okay? Yeah, they wanted to compromise. They wanted to offer, you know, peace in your connection. Okay, so now let's proceed with the charms, initials. All right. Okay. So as usual, we'll start off with the alphabets. Let me just separate the charms from the alphabets. Let's put that aside. Oopsie. All right. So let's get started. Got the letter Y. You have the letter A. You have the letter Z. You have the letter O. You have the letter D. Letter A. Letter K. Letter E. You have the letter G. Letter Z. Letter G. Letter T. Letter J. Letter Q, letter X, letter F, letter R, letter W, and yeah, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything else. Yep, we're good. Okay, so those are the alphabets or the letters. This might spell out their entire name. If not, 
just the nickname or the first middle last initial of this person and as for your charms my gosh you have a lot of keys okay we actually have three keys so what i'm actually getting here this person is definitely informative you know they also love to unlock you know um secrets so that's also the energy i'm getting with those keys or you've opened up their heart as well that's also what i'm getting because i'm drawn to one of the keys there's a yeah a shape of a heart so i feel that you've opened up their heart Maybe they're a bit closed off when it comes to love for some of them. Yeah, and you got, speaking of love, my God, you got this charm and it says love. Look at that. L-O-V-E. You've opened up their heart. My gosh, group number two. That is amazeballs. All right, what else? You got here music symbols, so they love music a lot. What else you got here? Yeah, this is actually a feather. Hmm. So maybe you've been seeing some signs, or they too have been seeing some signs. Maybe um, angel feathers. And then you also got your leaf. Again, starting a new life with you. You got your um, owl. So this person has a lot of wisdom, very knowledgeable, very smart. And that also means you guys are old souls. You also have your bunny. Okay, so this person is very, you know, flirty. That's also what I'm getting. There's a lot of flirty energy. Or this person probably have, you know, bunnies. Who knows? Or they love rabbits. But I'm actually more picking this up as a person who's very flirty, very energetic. Um, a person who is very abundant as well because rabbits are very uh, prosperous and abundant. Um, also a sign of fertility and I'm also getting here with this bunny maybe um, year of the rabbit who knows right and then what else am I getting from that bunny or that rabbit um Playboy? I'm kidding. Okay, but anyway, yeah, this person is very flirty, um, very sensual, sexual as well. You got the king of hearts, so maybe, again, this person might be a water sign too, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Or this person, you know, by the time they reach out to you, they're no longer the knight. They're, they're actually the king of hearts now. They're ready to open up their heart to you. Wow. I love this, but we're not done yet. Our latest or newest addition to the charms, we have, of course, the numbers. So these numbers, though, it will be significant not only for your person, but also for you, okay? So it works pretty same as the initials. You can just actually mix the numbers. All right. Okay. So, let's actually start off with the numbers. You have the number six. You have zero. You have seven. You have six again. You have the number eight. We have seven. Another seven. Wow. Another eight. We have the number five. And we have the number six. Okay. And we have two more. Wow. You got a lot of number seven. Seven is a very spiritual number. So you guys, again, like what I said, you guys are twin flames. I can't believe it. You got seven five times. I can't believe that. All right, so those are the numbers. You got here 607 6877 85677. All right. So those numbers will be very significant for you. Maybe their birthday is, let's say, June 7. All right. Or it can also be 1985. We got the 85 over here. Okay. Or maybe the last time you guys actually talk, um, it could be the sixth month of the year, which is June. It can be that, you know. So just take a look at those numbers, the letters, 
or the alphabets and those charms. So anyway, group number two, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I send you all the love and the light. Bye bye guys. All right, we're off to the final group, and you chose Tourmaline. So let's see who is going to send you a message. This is a timeless reading, by the way. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some messages, guided messages for the collective who chose group number three. Who is going to send them a message? All right, we have a card that actually flipped. We have Seven of Cups. You have Page of Pentacles. Next, we have here Four of Pentacles. Then we have here Temperance. We have here the Emperor. And wow, you got your Ace of Cups. This person loves you. Group number three. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you got your Five of Rods. So definitely had an argument with this person. Okay. So I'm seeing here a lot of Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, and a lot of water, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. If it's actually fire, I'm seeing here Aries and Sagittarius. All right, so who is this person is going to send you a message? I feel that you had a conflict with this person with the Five of Rods, okay? Whether there was an argument between you and this person. But this person, um, I feel they were really confused. What I'm actually getting from this person is that they're very confused at the beginning of the connection. I'm picking up that they are not sure about what is it that they really want with the Seven of Cups. Like, they're confused. Which cup? So, I'm actually picking up that they easily get distracted as well. I'm also getting here that this person, I feel, um, when they actually started a connection with you, they're a bit immature. But I feel that because of this, you know, um, fallout that probably happened between the both of you, they learned a lot from that. I feel that this person can be a bit stubborn. They're resistant to change as well. They can be a bit secretive or they can be a little bit guarded with their feelings. And they control their feelings a lot. That's also what I'm hearing. I feel that this person is somebody who is connected with you on a soul level. So whether this is a soulmate or a twin flame. You might be also different from each other. That's also what I'm hearing. Because with the Temperance card, all right, two different elements, yet they blend well. So I'm actually picking up that you and this person are probably different in opinions, or there's difference in opinions, or different in race, culture, or age. This person is very patient, though. And they're dreamers. They're very ambitious. That's also what I'm getting. And I feel that by the time they actually, you know, reach out to you, I feel they've matured enough with the emperor here. Because maybe in the past, they really don't know which cup are they going to choose. They don't know which cup are they going to prioritize as well. But with the Emperor, I feel they know now what is it that they want. They're more decisive. And yes, they do love you with the Ace of Cups. There's a lot of love in this connection. You probably also gave them unconditional love. Wow. Wow. All right, so let's try to pull up more cards and let's see who this person is. Who's going to send you a message?
Okay, you have your time for a nap. Oh my god, you got here not for you. All right. So what I'm seeing with these two cards, I feel that this person is going to send you a message. Definitely you guys are separated or there was, you know, um, a break in your connection with this time for a nap. I feel that somebody tried to pull away from the connection or distance themselves from the connection. Maybe this person felt very much overwhelmed. I'm also getting that this person is very smart, very cunning with the fox over here. So I feel that this person is more logical too than emotional. With a not for you, I'm actually hearing for some of you, there might be also people around you that, yeah, they're against with this connection. Maybe that's why you got the five of rods as well, because that's also talking about, you know, some arguments that involves other people. So I feel that maybe there are, you know, people around this person who kept on telling them like, no, don't go for that person or they're disapproving the connection. That's also what I'm hearing with this not for you card. And again, I'm also picking up for some of you at the very beginning. Maybe they are, you know, feeling as well that you guys are not really for each other because you guys might be different. But then after this separation, they realize that they made a mistake or it was a mistake after all. Wow. Okay. So the number six might be, you know, significant for you. Group number three. You got number 24 over here. If you add that up, that's number six. And you got number six on this not for you card. All right. Let's see. Let's try to pull up more. You have here sacrifice. Okay, and you got your intuition. Some of you guys, this is a Pisces, okay? Strong Pisces energy. I feel that this person did not use their intuition, okay? I feel just like what I said. They didn't follow, follow their heart or their feelings or what their gut feeling is telling them. I feel they're more logical. But I'm actually getting that this person, you know, by the time they're going to reach out to you, um, they're more decided this time because they follow their intuition this time or they follow their heart. Maybe in the past they didn't. I'm also getting that this person is a slow mover. They didn't progress the connection. They kind of like controlled it. They wanted to take a step back first, try to observe everything before they can make a decision. That's their personality. They're great observer, observers and very analytical mind. That's also what I'm getting. And they're seeing, you know, this connection from a different perspective now. With a sacrifice, all right, this is, again, you know, maybe they also have to sacrifice something for their happiness. Maybe at the very beginning, they don't want to because they know they're going probably to lose a lot of people around them if they chose you. Especially for those who are resonating with, there are people who are against this connection. And it's going to be a big sacrifice for them. So I am actually picking up that maybe this person actually chose what other people wanted for this person. When they did, they made a mistake. And again, this is the hangman. So again, seeing things from a different or fresh perspective. Okay, so maybe at that time they're very fixed. They're very stubborn. They don't want to see things from a different lens. But now they're beginning to. Okay. All right, let's see what else. All right, a lot of cards, so let me put that back. 
Okay, you got here. Nature, Gaia. And you got here magic. Wow, again, you got the moon. Interesting. Definitely strong Pisces energy. I'm also picking up that somebody watching this video might be a psychic or highly intuitive. Or this person is also highly intuitive. And again, this is all about emotions, okay? And you got here an owl. So this is kind of like telling me that this person is more logical. They're more into their mind than their heart or their emotions. Yeah, look at this. A person crying. So there's something about emotions. So I feel this person controlled their true feelings for you. They controlled their emotions. They're not really used to that. They don't want to be too vulnerable. This person is definitely sad ever since you guys parted ways. I'm also getting that this person with the eyes, this person probably is not seeing things much more clearly at that time. Because again, like what I said, they're very stubborn, they're very fixed. And with this tear, so I feel that deep down they're actually crying. So maybe when they decided to just follow the crowd or follow what other people are saying, that's when they realize, oh my gosh, I made a mistake. So I feel that this person is very sad or feeling very empty right now. Maybe this person's eyes are blue as well. Or somebody's eyes are blue. And again, you and this person with this magic, there's that magical link between you and this individual who is going to send you a message. Whether you guys, just like what I said at the very beginning, whether you guys are twin flames or soulmates, there's that magical thread that links you and this person. Maybe you guys have been, you know, connecting through dreams as well. I also feel for some of you, this person have low self-esteem. They don't have the courage. Yeah, I'm picking up a person who actually, um, not necessarily self-deprecation, but I'm actually picking up a person who has very low self-esteem. They don't have confidence. But yeah, that's what I'm getting with these two cards. Interesting. They're probably also very, you know, secretive. That's also what I'm hearing. Very secretive, very moody, and um, it's hard to figure them out. That's also what I'm, you know, hearing when I saw those two cards earlier. All right, so anyway, let's actually proceed. Let's see who is going to send you a message. All right, let me actually pull that back, put that back rather. Okay, you got time and tide. And it got your soul cage, wow, okay. So, what I'm actually, you know, sensing here like what I said, I could really, you know, pick up because I'm not usually just reading the meaning of the cards. When I pull up a card, there are words that I would hear or I would pick up the energy. And the energy that I actually picked up with these two cards is so sad, honestly. There's a lot of emptiness. If there's a word, it's emptiness. They feel so very empty right now. They're longing for you. Look at that. She is actually drawing a heart on the sand. So again, um, this is regarding emotions about how they feel. So I'm actually getting maybe this person, you know, um, they try to run away from their feelings as well. They try to control it. And I also feel that this person is lost. That's really the energy I'm getting. Like, they don't know what to do. 
and I'm hearing regret. Like, there's a lot of regret. I feel that this person decided to let you go. That's what I'm hearing. Maybe that's why you haven't heard from this person because they've decided, not telling you, of course, that they really are not wanting to um, come back or deal with you again. They try to run away from this connection. But again, it's kind of like the tide. Like, it it gravitates. It's like, yeah, it's like they're being pulled towards your direction again. Like, for some reason, they can't understand. Like, why is it that I'm being pulled back to this person again? That's exactly the energy or the feeling that I'm picking up just by looking at that card. Like they did try to run away from you or move away from you. But then for some reason, slowly they're being gravitated towards their direction again. And they were like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I thought I'm over. I thought I'm done. I feel that with this soul cage, just like what I said, this person is feeling very much restricted. This person has a lot of fear as well. Maybe that's why you have a lot of moon, whether they're, yeah, yeah, I'm actually hearing some of them are Pisces or that's also talking about deep emotions, but I'm also hearing that this person has a lot of fear. I don't think that this person have a happy childhood too. That's what I'm hearing for some of you. Yeah, I'm really hearing childhood. Like there's something about their um, parents, how they were brought up. Some of them were even bullied when they were kids. And I'm also hearing that this person, you know, is always in this empty space, this very lonely, you know, space. They feel trapped, okay? And maybe because of their decision as well, they thought that that would give them, you know, the freedom or they would be, be free from, you know, any conflict from other people. But they're seeing you as a person who actually took them out of that darkness. You've rescued this person. Whether you're aware of that or not, you did. Like you pulled this person out of that darkness, just like this mermaid, like pulling the the young man up. So yeah, towards the light. So I'm getting here that this person has been very, very lonely and sad. But when you actually arrived, you actually gave them a lot of happiness or there's that certain type of feeling that they've never felt before. And it's kind of like you pulled them out of that darkness. But then when you guys parted ways again, they're back into that cage. Because again, I feel that this person is afraid to face their demons. They're running away from what it is that they should have acknowledged at the very beginning. Somebody's hair is reddish brown, okay? I noticed that. So yeah, I'm seeing a strawberry, kind of like strawberry blonde hair or reddish br blonde hair. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, interesting. This is emotional. All right. Different from the rest of the groups. Okay, let's try to pull up more. I could really sense the person's energy so low. So sad, so empty. It's like, you know, lifeless, very much lifeless. All right, what else? Who is this person is going to send them a message? Okay, got your rainbow blessings. You have angel of love. Oh my God. All right see here a new start is coming okay all right interesting you have pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you Again, what I'm actually seeing here with these four cards, with this rainbow and blessings, 
every you know um storm right um after that you would be seeing the rainbow so i feel that there were a lot of storms heavy dark experiences that this person went through or you and this person um yeah experience in this connection so i feel that there's a lot of dark energy a lot of lonely bleak energy but they're seeing you as a blessing like you are the rainbow okay it's hope like starting again again you have this a new start is coming so yeah um rainbow symbolizes hope like after a heavy storm all right you're going to get past through all the obstacles the challenges so i feel that this person really wanted to start again with you and they're seeing you as a blessing to them they wanted you know magic and color in their life again because if i'm going to paint although i i can't paint but if i am you know going to paint this person's moods or emotions it's so dark it's very you know black and gray or pale blue that's really what I'm getting. There's something about their heart, their emotions. Either this person was also hurt. I feel that they have a very lonely childhood as well. Because I'm getting a very loner vibe from this person. I don't think that this person has a lot of friends, actually. That's what I'm picking up now. Unlike with other groups, their person is actually very, you know, sociable, a sociable, sociable person or social butterfly. But this person is very, you know, much like a loner, like a lone wolf. And this person, you know, they realize they love you so much with this angel of love. You're an angel to this person because like what I told you, they've been in a very dark place, dark period of their life. And for some reason, when they met you, you brought them out of that dark place. You were, yeah, a hope to this person. You brought them light. And again, this woman has reddish brown hair. This is crazy. Every card that I'm gonna pull up, somebody's hair is reddish brown or strawberry blonde and with this pay attention to the red flags again i'm actually picking up that this person's very guarded maybe they're not really comfortable in opening up their heart or sharing how they truly feel maybe they're also afraid to love again maybe in the past they were actually manipulated by someone they were hurt by someone and when it comes to love they are pessimistic about it you know they don't want to believe in love anymore that's also what i'm hearing for some of you and like what i said they did try to move away from you thinking that maybe you know they would be over you or you guys are just not for each other that's really what i'm getting but then for some reason they realize why is it that i'm still being gravitated towards the viewer you know that's what i'm getting wow why is it so freaking emotional <laughs> okay so maybe you're dealing with a pisces as well or i don't know because there's a lot of moon there's a lot of emotions okay let's move on Let's get four cards from this deck. Who is going to send you a message? Okay, you got Rescuer. All right. I'm actually even hearing codependency. So somebody in this connection is codependent. It might be the person as well. Okay, we'll get those cards. You got the Damsel. You got Priest, and finally you got Don Juan, okay. All right, so maybe some of them are Hispanics, who knows? All right, so what I'm getting here with this Rescuer card, I feel that, again, there's something about the heart. You keep on getting a lot of images with hearts on them, okay? So there's something about feelings, all right? Maybe they were struggling to acknowledge um, the feelings that they have for you, and they tried to control that. I also feel that maybe this person was also codependent. For some, I'm picking up that somebody's needy as well. 
I'm also getting here with a rescuer. I feel that this is more of the viewer. I feel that you rescued this person. Just like what I told you, right? Let me go back to your card. This is freaking crazy. Because look at this. You got your rescue. Let me just... Yeah. There you go. Rescue, escape from captivity and restriction. So like what I told you, you are this um, person. You brought this person away from the darkness. You gave them light, okay? And you rescued them. And I'm actually hearing... Okay, this is very specific. Oh my god, I just heard something very specific just now. I heard someone saying that I was confused at the very beginning. I thought that you were just very nice to me and that you just really wanted to help me. Yes, you actually rescued me from my darkness. You took me out of that darkness. But I was confused. I don't know whether it's only because you helped me or it's only because you were there during my dark moments. I was confused with my feelings. Oh my God, I'm hearing a message right now. I'm confused with my feelings. I didn't know if it was out of love or was it because of maybe you were just being nice to me. But it's not all about emotions. They feel very guilty, I'm hearing right now. Whoever this is, it's a young man I'm hearing. That I couldn't reciprocate at the beginning what you want. I just realized that you're falling in love with me. Because I thought that, you know, there's nothing else. That maybe you were just being nice to me. I didn't realize that you are actually falling in love with me or that you wanted something more to happen in this connection. But I'm lonely. I'm sad. I couldn't give you what you want. That's what I'm hearing right now. My gosh. I don't know who this is. So this person is saying, I'm actually picking up a guy. So whoever this is that I'm hearing right now, he wanted to say that... You rescued him from the darkness, and he really appreciates that. He wanted to say how much, you know, he wanted to thank you for showing him hope, for giving him strength. Because I feel that this person also even tried to commit suicide. That's what I'm hearing. But you actually gave this person hope. And this person is saying, I do not know whether, yeah, he's saying he's confused with his feelings. He doesn't know whether the reason why he's feeling this way is because he loves you, that he really fell in love with you, or was it only just because you were there at that time when he was in his lowest or darkest moments of his life? So he got confused. So he needed to take a step back to contemplate. Now it's making sense why you got the hangman. Yeah, all right. Oh my God, out of all the three readings, group three was, you know, really emotional and I could hear someone talking really. It's a young person, a young man, very reserved. If I would describe him, he's, I'm actually picking up a person with wiry belt. He is actually, you know, I don't think it's a bulky guy like a huge guy. No, that's the energy I'm getting from this person. And he's also very nice. That's also what I'm getting. He's actually very nice, very humble, very quiet. He's not the talkative type, you know? That's really what I'm getting. Like what I told you, right? I could sense a very lonely energy. He got the damsel here, so I'm actually, you know, picking up, like, again, rescue, like damsel in distress, like somebody to help me. That's really what I'm getting here. And again, inspires you to rely on yourself. I feel that this person was abandoned as well. That's also what I'm hearing. This person has a very lonely childhood. I feel that when they were growing up, they felt abandoned. They felt alone. So they have gotten used to that. They're not used to being in a, yeah, in a relationship as well. Maybe they were also rejected in the past. 
very lonely energy my god with a priest card yeah maybe this person is very spiritual too all right i'm actually getting with the priest card i feel that some of them you know maybe i don't know why i'm hearing this but i'm actually hearing that some of them you know are thinking that maybe they're actually not never going to get married that they're just going to end up you know like yeah, I feel like a priest, you know, um, who can't marry. I feel that this person even thought about that, that maybe they're never going to get married. They just are alone or they just wanted to dedicate their life to, you know, their religion. Maybe, maybe this person's also religious or spiritual. For some of you, because it's a general reading, all right, so only take what resonates. You got Don Juan, so maybe this person is also Hispanic, but this person is actually very seductive, or maybe at the very beginning, this person kind of like, you know, flirted with you, or there's a lot of flirtation in this connection, and again, it's more sensual energies. I feel that this person also has this, yeah, seductive qualities about them. Or they can easily seduce someone, all right? Because they're very mysterious. Like, they can easily capture the attention of women, especially if they're actually a guy. They're very passionate. They probably are also musicians for some of you. That's what I'm hearing. Or they love to express themselves through music. Oh my God. What a very emotional reading. I can't believe this. Group 3's reading is totally different from the rest. Okay, let's actually try to pull up more. Let's get four more cards. Okay, got Pisces. What did I tell you? My God. I told you guys, somebody's a Pisces, and now you got Pisces. Oh my God, because I saw a lot of moon and he got the sacrifice card. That's also Pisces. Oh boy. All right. What is this? You got Mars. All right. You got Gemini again. Gemini appeared in all three readings. Okay. What else you got here? Third house. Okay very interesting so again like what i told you guys somebody is a pisces or this person might be a pisces very much like a dreamer okay they love to um daydream okay they're very idealistic i also feel that this person gets easily overwhelmed by emotions or feelings because there's something about emotions about this person it's hard for them to actually acknowledge their feelings they're struggling with it they can be um, sensitive as well and moody. And again, spiritual. So I feel that this person is very spiritual. And then you also got Mars. So maybe for some of you, this person might be, if not Pisces, either they're also Scorpio or Aries. They're actually, you know, very um, powerful and very, you know, driven, very ambitious, especially when it comes to their goals or their career. And with the Gemini, the Gemini card appeared in all three readings. So again, this person is very witty, very smart or intellectual. This person is actually very communicative, maybe. But for some reason, I'm picking up earlier the guy that I was hearing. That person is actually much of like, you know, a very reserved and very quiet person. I don't think that person is chatty. But maybe for some of you, this person is a Gemini, somebody who's a great conversationalist. But they're indecisive as well. They're fickle-minded. This person has a lot of ideas, okay? Very highly intellectual. A lot of ideas. And they wanted to make the right connections. I feel this person is very picky when it comes to associations or friends. And I also feel that this person doesn't have long-term plans. They're actually the type of individuals who doesn't want to plan way too much. 
they just live day to day or just living in the present moment they are not the type of people who's going to plan like what's going to happen to me 10 years from now yeah oh my gosh interesting okay let's pull up one more card and then after that we're going to pull up some charms initials and our newest edition of course numbers but before that let's pull up this card okay that was fast you got your abundance all right so with this abundance card what i'm actually getting i feel that this person is also yeah they're either abundant, they're resourceful, or they actually wanted to put their focus on growing their money. Or they also wanted to grow the connection with you. They see you as somebody who is actually abundant, not just necessarily money, but there's a lot of, you know, things that you can actually offer. I'm also hearing doctor. Somebody is a doctor. Yeah, somebody's a doctor because I'm drawn to that symbol that I'm seeing when it comes to... I forgot what that was called, but the when it comes to medical field, I forgot that. Or the Mercury symbol, yeah. So definitely, yeah, somebody's a Gemini. All right. But yeah, again, this person wanted to grow things with you. Some of them, they put their focus on growing their money. They wanted to be stable first. Oh my gosh. All right. So now let's proceed with the charms. Let's get some additional clues. Okay. As usual, let's start off with the alphabets or the letters. I'm just going to separate the charms. Oh my god, this person is definitely spiritual. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, a lot of letters. Okay, so there you go. We have the letter H. We have letter C. Yeah, this is actually letter C. We have the letter D. You have the letter P. You have the letter K. Letter O. Letter P again. Letter L. Another L. Letter R. Letter H, letter A, letter T, letter Z, letter C, letter E, letter D, letter I, letter U, letter O, letter S, letter T, letter E and letter Y interesting okay so there you go those are the letters or the alphabets you may also pause if you wanted to take a look closely on these alphabets or letters and that might spell out their entire name if not their nickname or the initials first middle last okay now as for the charms yeah, definitely this person is spiritual. All right, with that symbol. I forgot what it was called, but that is a symbol that somebody is definitely spiritual. You got the octopus, so I feel that there's something about neediness because octopus, you know, it's actually talking about clinging. So maybe clingy, needy, all right? Either they are needy or clingy or they don't want clingy or needy people. Yeah, I got here the love intertwined together or hearts intertwined together. So, yeah, they are now sure that the love that they have for you because there were confusion. That's what I'm hearing. There's a lot of confusion here. So I feel that now there are 
more positive and a much more clear they're seeing things much more clearly now that the love that they actually have for you it's not just out of compassion or pity or vice versa that you were just probably just being nice to them that's also what i'm hearing for some of you but whatever the case may be they're now sure that you are their love and he got the four leaf clover so this might also talk about luck or serendipity there's actually yeah synchronicity why you guys were brought together you have angels watching over me so again divinely guided he got grapes for me this is also talking about abundance so yeah you got the abundance um card earlier and he got shell so i feel that this person you know clams up or this person um, it's hard for them to open up their feelings with a shell, all right? So they're probably a bit closed off when it comes to heart or to their heart, to their emotions, to their feelings. Either this person actually got hurt. That's really what I'm hearing too. They were hurt by someone that they've loved or they were abandoned by someone. That's why they actually kind of like, like gave up on love. That's also what I'm hearing. But anyway, let's try to pull up numbers. So just like the initials, this will actually um, be similar to the initials. These numbers are not only going to be significant for your person, but also for you. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the numbers. You have the number seven. Let's put it here. You have the number two. You have zero. You have zero. Oh my God. Look at that. 2007. So maybe you guys, you know, met 2007. You have the number six. You have the number one. Yeah. Let me actually just push this here. So we can have more space. All right. There you go. And we have another one. We have the number two. And we have the number eight. Okay. So yeah, those are the numbers. I tell you, these numbers are very significant, not only for your person or this person who's going to send you a message, but also for you. So for instance, maybe your birthday is February 8th. You got 2 and 8. And it can also be 16. Or 2007, the year 2007 is really, you know, significant maybe for you guys. Or 2011, you can also, yeah, just combine or mix the numbers it can be 2006 as well. Or maybe 2021. There's something about 2021. Maybe next year. Who knows? Or 2020. Yeah. You got 2022. So, yeah. Just take a look at those numbers. Those numbers are going to be really significant. Not only for your person or this person who's wishing or who's going to send you a message. But it's also going to be significant for you guys. For the both of you, actually. All right. So there you go, group number three. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I want to thank you again for your support. And I'll see you again on the next PK card. Bye-bye, guys. Love and light.